prevention strategies and tactics with the best practices on modern policing. The military policing component is appointed in terms of the Defense Act and combating crime in the SANDF is the entity's primary objective. Military Police Division defines crime as an act or omission prohibited by law. This act or omission must have a negative impact on the ordinary way of life and existence of the community and the state. I'm Major Samuel Babsan Bapela. SO2 Corporate Communication of Military Police Division. My role in the uh, Military Police Division is uh, everything that has to do with communications, like your, if there are events, your parades, uh, funerals, or whatever. My office cover those events in a form of uh, articles, photographs, and also memorabilia. My role during operation is to make sure that if there are interviews that have to do with the military police tasks, I liaise between the media and whoever is going to be interviewed, or what will happen is we take the shots or, or the news or whatever, the successes that we had to the media. Or most of the times we also deal, if there's an incident, there will be a media inquiry that will go through my office to DCC. I am Zizi Popekepu from 1SSB Plumfontein. We're currently deployed at Messina with Alpha Company. I'm in Platoon 1. We are currently in Sector 2. What we basically based here in Sector 2 is we're dealing with cigarette smugglings, undocumented persons, and groceries. They usually cross the groceries from Messina to Zimbabwe via the river. From the river, to Messina, they bring undocumented person. The first vehicle that we stopped that was coming from the other side, which they call Churundu. We, we were searching for undocumented person. They bring a lot of people that cross and go to Joburg, Durban for businesses and everything. The vehicle that we stopped that was coming from Messina going to the other side, we were basically searching for the, if should they have any cigarettes, or groceries behind the vehicle or whatsoever that is illegal. My contribution here in the borderline makes, it, makes me confident because at least we can limit a little bit of some crime that is currently taking place in the borderline. When I'm in uniform, I'm a soldier first before I'm a woman. It doesn't matter being a female or a male. When we are wearing this uniform, we're all the same. We are all soldiers.